Hello beautiful humans! I'm so excited to say that this month marks the one year anniversary of opening my practice. And so I wanted to take this opportunity and say thank you. Thank you to you um, for a year of support and care and continued intentionality in prioritizing yourselves and your body and your health in spite of a really weird and, and challenging year. So thank you for that. And for so many of you that checked in during uh, the crazy times or sent payment ahead of time to support and make sure that I was doing okay, thank you. In light of everything that I am learning and studying in acupuncture and Chinese herbal medicine, um, I can't start needling you yet, it's not legal, but I can incorporate some of these modalities into the treatments that we already have. And so my prices will be raising a little bit, but in light of that, um, I wanted to t take this opportunity today to show you some of the things that we'll be doing to enhance your treatments. It's called a body buffer. Doesn't mean you're gonna get buffer by using it, but it means <laughs> that I can actually like buff the fascia essentially so you have to plug it in but it vibrates rapidly with as I hold my hand or I hold it in my hand and it'll go up and down the lines of the body and the goal of this is kind of like a rapid tap potent which is the technique I use when I'm kind of pounding on your body um, not only does that increase like the vibrational frequency of the cells but it also releases fascia. And when we release fascia, we can get deeper into the muscle tissue, the tendons, and the ligaments. And so I'm really excited to use this tool on anybody. It's not contraindicated for anyone, but it's particularly good for athletes, somebody that's exercising or lifting regularly. Um, so for all my athletes out there, this one's for you. Another modality that I'm really excited to incorporate is the use of what we call moxa in Chinese medicine. So moxa, this is the raw form of mugwort, which is an herb. And this has been used for thousands of years in Chinese medical practice. But primarily what moxa bustion or moxa therapy does is tonification. So it really helps the body strengthen or do what it was designed to do. So moxa can be applied anywhere on the body for any condition, pretty much. Um, and it also has this significant warming technique. So in Chinese medicine, we talk about pain being from cold or stagnation. So anytime we can go in there with massage or soft tissue manipulation or something like moxibustion therapy, we're warming the body to increase nerve supply, lymph supply, and blood supply to the area. So this is what it looks like in its raw form, but it can be used in several different forms. These are a Japanese style of moxa. They're like little, little things that stick on to different acupoints on the body. Um, and again, can be used for tonification. Another way that moxa is used is in this. It's called a moxa box. So there's a screen underneath so nothing falls through. And then these little moxa poles are lit on fire. And it can be placed on the abdomen for things like severe menstrual cramps or any type of digestive issue. Um, so the smell when it's burning is like incense, but again, this modality is super effective at relieving pain. Um, so I'm excited about this one. Moxa also comes in a moxa pole like this. So I would light the top, kind of smells like incense, and then hold it somewhat of a distance away from the body to warm a particular area, carpal tunnel syndrome, or work on any of the acupuncture points too. The last uh, modality, or not last, second to last, is cupping. So I will be using what is called fire cupping. So we soak this cotton swab in alcohol, light it on fire, fire, and we put it in, and it'll take the oxygen out of the cup, which is applied quickly to the skin. So it creates a suction, you wouldn't be able to pull this off. Um, and again, this really helps to bring old blood to the surface and encourage any type of circulation in the tissue and in the body overall. So traditionally, cupping is done kind of on the neck and shoulders and the lower back region as well. So this is something that can be done before, during, or after a massage treatment to really help enhance the work that we're doing together. 
And then the last modality I'll be incorporating is using this, it's a little ancient, kind of looks like a Chinese soup spoon, um, which it is. Um, but this, is, this form of treatment is called gua sha. And so some form of lubrication is applied to this skin. And again, this is often done on the neck and shoulders, kind of that area that feels really tight. And so you do a slow scraping technique. It releases the fascia and encourages circulation to the area. So a lot of these modalities that I will be adding um, are things that will enhance circulation for the body, blood circulation, limb circulation, nerve, fluid, nerve um, pathways, all of these things to enhance the overall function of the body. Um, and I'm really excited to incorporate this into the practice. There are things that I've learned that I've experienced um, in my own body for healing that are just excellent and I think they will be excellent for you. So thank you again for your um, continued support. I look forward to seeing you in the coming months and we can try some of these things together.